and welcome back to my channel. I have some long, and I do mean long, overdue empties just to talk to you about today. I'm going to try to go as fast as I can if you're new here and you stumbled upon this just by, you know, face or makeup or um, hair care or just my random other empties. And you like this content, I hope you'll subscribe before you leave. And uh, if you're already a faithful subscriber and viewer, welcome back. I actually repurchased this, so you'll know that I love it. This is Moisturizing Cleanser. This is the um, CVS version of Obeline. Um, I don't use this all over my face, but hands down, this is the best eye makeup remover you're ever going to use. Waterproof, you name it. This is 12 full ounces, so, I mean, you see I scraped it. I used every single bit of it, but this lasts forever. So if you buy one of these, um, you can, like, scoop some out and travel with it. It's not going to, like, run or melt or leak, and it's just so simple. You can use this all over your face, but it does have um, mineral oil and petroleum. So I know some of you are going to be like, what? If you don't like that, just don't get it. Simple as that. I just want you to know that this is out there because, like, nobody talks about Obeline. Nobody. I'm telling you. Put this on. It literally does the work for you. It does the work for you. I don't want to spend 15 minutes tugging at my eyes to get my waterproof mascara on. So don't judge me for using this. If you haven't tried it, don't knock it. If you're okay with using a um, mineral oil type situation on your face. This is amazing. Uh, let's talk about uh, bee venom. I have three, I believe. Yep, I'm going to show you my Benigma dupe um, that I discovered that I brought to YouTube. That is totally changed my life and apparently a lot of yours. So um, this is by Atlanta Corp and this is my $7 Benigma dupe which it's actually cheaper now. And so I have one completely empty. Holy Grail. Holy Grail skin product. One product you ask me for the rest of my life. This one. One. Another. I don't know why I kept the box. Make sure this isn't full. Oh, that would be totally travesty. No. Darn it. I was getting excited for a minute. Two. Totally empty. Amazing stuff. And three, I don't know, maybe it's two total, but I kept the box. I don't know. I'm gonna guess two. Anyway, you can see. I love them. I have a ton of samples. Let's talk about those. Uh, Tatcha Pure One Step Chameleon Oil Cleansing Oil. So strange. I love me some Obeline to put on my eyes and certain stubborn makeup areas. Lipstick that's melted. Um, our uh, totally matte red lipstick that would take that off in no time but I can't stand this Tatcha one step camellia cleansing oil is no good for me it's boring it's not even anything that special and I am not paying that price for it I guarantee you again if that's your favorite don't get offended because I don't like it it's just it's just not for me all right in that same vein, I have a sample of Purity by Philosophy, uh, like one step cleanser that leaves like moisture behind. No, it's at the best okay for me, and I'm not paying that price for it. I have a positive <laughs> belief. Uh, Hungarian Water Essence. This was phenomenal. I loved every second of this, and there's nothing. Ooh, I got one squared out. What? Is this not empty? Why am I throwing that away? It's so good. Like, watery essence. My gosh, this is so good. This is the product that got me turned on to this type of a, um, a product. I mean, I was like, eh, what is eh? Essence what? Oh my gosh, I love it. No, I believe that this, I believe, I believe this is, uh, Korean skincare. I have a dupe for this, so I'm going to share that with you in my uh, skincare series coming up. But 
And honestly, this is not that expensive from Sephora. So finally, like an amazing product that doesn't cost you an arm and a leg that actually benefits you. I use an essence like this in the daytime for my skincare. I love it. Would absolutely 100% repurchase that. Um, I'm going to try to go really fast through some of these. Too Faced Mascara Melt Off. No. No. I do not have time to sit here with this ridiculous thing and go over each one of my lashes. No. Wouldn't pay for it. Would not even if it was free. Don't know if I would use it. Invisibler Perfecting Shield by Murad. It's okay. It's a chemical um, infused primer. SPF 30. I love Murad. This just wasn't their best product for me. It made me uh, slightly greasy. And so while I would consider this, um, and the other thing is I really, with the silicone and everything in here, don't think I can put a physical over top of that. I had trouble with that. It would kind of peel up. And so this is just not the right product for me. It might be really good for some of you though. Invisible Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 30 treats, blurs, and protects. Chemical sunscreen, but I won't buy that. Um, the Drunk Elephant. I have a lot of good products in this round. TLC um, Frambu Glycolic Night Serum. I don't love this brand right now. Um, I've had a few things, some I like better than others, but I don't know, it's just 12% glycolic. I don't love this for the price. I don't. I liked using the product. It worked well, it's nice. I think it's too expensive. The Lala, on the same token, Lala Retro Whipped Cream. Um, I think this was a really nice moisturizer. It's completely empty. I love the way it smelled. I like the way it felt on my skin. Again, I think it's way too expensive and I much prefer um, my Benigma and even a more simple, less expensive um, moisturizer on top of that if I need it and I normally don't. So this was nice, but I don't repurchase it because of the price. I also have a um, Surreal Skin Argan Oil Finishing Balm by... Uh, Josie Marin. I did like this one a lot. I, I really do like argan oil and skincare, and um, this would be a line that I really would consider from Sephora. So it's a possibility, but you know, it's not something I need to rush right out and buy. It didn't like rock my world to it's like, oh my gosh, I gotta get this right now. I would consider it though. I have a Heart. Oh my goodness, what is this called? Friction stick. It was like the um, charcoal, um, you can see it in there. Uh, you kind of put that on and it exfoliates. This just was all right. I mean, it was, it was okay, but I don't need to buy it. Caudalie Reservatrol Lift Eye Lift. Bomb. Okay, I'll say something for this. I really, can you see, I got every, really, every single bit of this out. This is really nice. Really nice. So I will consider this. It's super expensive. Uh, I don't have the price point in front of me, but I really like Caudalie. I just knew it when I got it in my sample box. I knew I was going to love it, and I did. I have not repurchased it, but I would consider it. I have a Glam Glow Brightening Flash Mud Brightening. I love this. You guys know I've talked about this in the past. I love it. it smells like the best orange Skittle or Jelly Belly Jelly Bean and the scent makes me happy and the diamond polishing micro beads in here are amazing and I have seen this at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Have not bought it yet, but I'm going to try to. I love this. I have a Hydrocortisone 2.5% and literally can get nothing out of that. Sometimes retina irritates my face or 
different products and I can use just a small bit of hydrocortisone on my face. Um, I probably am just going to get a less expensive one from the drugstore because I don't have any more of these, I don't believe. Maybe I'm using my last one, I think, uh, right now. So the 2.5% is prescription strength. Um, but you can get a 1% over the counter. So I'm going to give that a whirl and see if I need to get a script for it. I'll just go ahead and get all of my um, prescription strengths. This is a hydroquinone 4%. I did use it up. It took me forever and I feel like it almost went bad. You can see how sulfured hydroquinone when it hits the air um, is like a sulfur based product and turns like that on you. Um, it almost was unusable and I did finish it up but 4% is too strong for my face. So again I have a 2%, a couple 2% products that I'm incorporating into my skincare but 4% hydroquinone is just too much for me and my face is much happier since I'm not using this 4% but I do need the lightning effect so I'm using the over-the-counter strength in that as well. Different gel I mentioned to you guys once I was going to give this a go as kind of like an certain nights using this in conjunction with the retin-a but I, I used it it breaks me out um, which is so weird I know it's probably purging because different um, products like this can cause purging until your skin adjusts, but I don't like it. So I used it. I won't be buying it again. If you don't have Retin-A, maybe that's a good option for you. This is a tube of Retin-A. This is just basically like the most generic of generic Retin-A that I buy in um, Mexico. 0.05% all of my retinas are 0.05 and this is by Tocoderm and it just says um, I looked this up because I thought I was getting duped but it's acetoretinoico which is just the um, Spanish for retinoic acid and that is what tretinoin is that is what retina is and this works just as good as any of the other retinas I have so you know, I used all that bad boy up. <laughs> That's gone. Um, I have two. You guys, this is my new lip, like, obsession. I'm still using these. I'm probably going to have more in my next round of empties when that comes around. But these are Burt's Bees Honey. It's all about the honey one. I have a... Uh... Are you honey? I have a peppermint... And vitamin E over here that I like that's good, but it's all about this honey one. I know you guys think I'm crazy with bee products, and maybe I am, but these change my lips. I don't know. I mean, I love bee products and skincare. I'm telling you, if you want to change your lips, get these. But I love, my recommendation is the honey. It's more firm than the other ones, and it coats and nourishes and stays on all night. I use this overnight. I use it every day all day love it I'll never be without this as long as I can get my hands on it because it's getting harder to find so two of those oh now we're getting down to some good well let's go with the not good stuff but I've got some really good ones to finish up so don't go anywhere um I, I tossed this I poured it out Avalon Organics CoQ10 Repair Perfecting Facial Toner Wrinkle Smoothing Toner balances, restore, and tightens through cellular renewal. I know KUKI10 is supposed to be great for your skin, but I cannot stand this toner. I did try to use it until about like mm, halfway. Couldn't stomach it anymore, and I just poured it out. It says new gentler formula, and I think gentler formula. I can't talk anymore. I've filmed so much today. Um, it says newer gentler formula, but I used to use this, and I used to love it. But this new gentler formula is not gentle to my face and it broke me out. It's pretty far down on the list but this stuff, it, this one has alcohol so for that reason I wouldn't repurchase it but I couldn't even get through the whole thing. So there's that. Oh gosh, these are all, okay these last four are like, ooh, ooh, they're so good. Alright, this is my favorite glycolic. This will be also in probably my skincare series as part of my, um, skincare regimen 
I love this one. This is by the brand called Alpha Hydrox. This is the original enhanced lotion, 10% glycolic AHA anti-wrinkle cream. I love this. I love this. This one works so good. I have some more um, that I'm going to use in place of this that I want to use that are really good. But if you need a good glycolic um, lotion, this one is so inexpensive. I think this is under 10 bucks on Amazon. Six fluid ounces lasted me forever. Absolutely would repurchase it. Again, have something I'm using, but absolutely would and probably will in the future. Use that, and that is in my nighttime skin routine. So, um, and that's glycolic acid in general. So that will be one thing I'm talking about. Um, I have a couple of cleansers and one holy grail product, you guys. <sighs> this makes me antsy. My SK2 Celimination Mask and Lotion is empty. And guess what? They stopped carrying it. What? I'm so upset about it. I'm so upset about it. I cannot even... I can't even talk about it. This is probably the most expensive and most favorite skincare product in my whole routine and they stopped carrying it. I know they still have a Slumination cream moisturizer or something but this was perfect for me because I could use my B Venom and my Retin-A over top of it. Peptides, I wrote it down because I want to make sure that the other product that they carry has that. Um, niacinamide amino acids that make peptides hyaluronic acid. This is such a good product and I did find some on Amazon but I'm a little scared that they would be authentic or not so I don't know what I'm going to replace this with but this is currently up until this very moment in time been my holy grail product for nighttime um, in conjunction with my B Venom and Retin-A and stuff but I don't know what I'm going to replace this with because it has so many good things in it but I'm going to set this aside to include in my uh, routine. Both of these came from Marshalls and this was $10. Let's talk about this because honestly if I could get that last little bit out of there I would have already used it. I Look how much of this. Seven fluid ounces that lasted me so long and I bought this on a whim. Ula Hendrickson um, African Red Tea Foaming Cleanser, Rich Creamy and Revitalizing Antioxidant Facial Cleanser, and it says all skin types slash anti-aging. I don't know what's in this, but my face loves this stuff, and I am going to repurchase it. I just am. I have some more to go through, but I miss this. I miss it so, so, so much. Antioxidant Red Tea Retexturing Pump. Retexturing? Maybe that's why I love it. Retexturing pumpkin extract and restorative black currant seed oil. Sulfate free and suitable for even most sensitive skin. No parabens. So good. Two pumps of this, rub it in. I'm not kidding you. Literally, your makeup just falls off in the sink. It's so bizarre. I've never had a cleanser take off my makeup the way that this one does, you guys. Never. I guarantee you. When I find this in Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I'm buying every one I can get my hands on. Guarantee. And the last thing I have to talk about, this is in Korean. Everything in the back is in Korean. Um, but this is the Snail Essential Deep Cleansing Foam. Cleansing Story. Snail Essential Deep Cleansing Foam. Um, with Snail Secretion Filtrate that gives moisture while completely removing makeup. I love this one. And I do still have some of these to finish, so that's what I'm gonna use um, in conjunction with my Glam Glow. Everything else is in, <laughs> absolutely in Korean. But I, I bought this because it has the snail secretion filtrate for moisture. I love to use this in the morning. Um, I will use it at night. I absolutely will. But my favorite combo was this Ula Hendrickson at night and this one in the morning. And sometimes 
when retin-A, your skin is adjusting to it, it can actually be so chemically exfoliated from the retin-A, you can produce a little bit of oil. And I think maybe that's what was happening uh, to some extent, and I would use this in the morning. Um, and this does a really good job at making my face feel clean, yet taking away some of that uh, residual oil and making me feel like I had a clean canvas for my SPFs and face makeup. So if you're dry, this one might not be your favorite, even though it says for the filtrate with moisture. Let me give my next tube of this a, uh, a go because I want to see if it was my face or if it's actually the face wash, but I do love this one for myself. I love it, but this one was only $3.99. And so even if I only use what I bought as a morning cleanser, I'm fine with that for $3.99. So I will keep you updated on that. That's it. Okay, those are my skincare empties. And I am so happy to get some of this out of my room. My husband will be very happy because he's tried to toss things, things like several times. So glad to have that one done. I hope that there were some products in there that you were curious about. I am all about great products great skincare at the best price. Did it work more than price? If it works amazing, as with this SK2, I'm about that because I will pay for changes, absolute 100% observable changes in the way my skin feels and looks, but I will not pay for products with average, um, average mediocre results at high skincare prices because I, I just would rather put that money I've saved towards um, something else or retin-a you know even Botox for crying out loud I'd save it up and do that before I would just you know I won't pay just for a name I pay for what works and so I hope that this helps you guys out please leave any comments questions or whatever below I'm happy to always answer them and um, I'm gonna move on to hair care, makeup, and then just my little odds and ends that I have in my empties. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave me comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.